Well, good evening, everybody. Oh, my goodness me, it's been a crazy few days. Um, thank you if you've managed to join me this evening and you, you're not sat on your sofa watching the one show and sipping a little bit of wine. Uh, to be honest, I've managed to escape upstairs. Um, Benji's not left me alone since I got through the door. So uh, he might uh, he might be up or he might be just sort of chilled to know that mummy's home. So that's OK. So, all right. In true fashion, I thought that I would stick with pastel tiles. And I've got a lovely lemon tile tonight for our 124. And what do I have with me? I have actually done a little bit of inking on it. Here we go. Just, just a touch. I've used the Memento. There we go. Look, just the Morocco. I love this colour. And I do use it a lot. It's certainly with pink. It's, uh, it's quite nice. So um, that's all I've done. I've just inked around just a little bit. And I, as you can see, I've not made it uh, too, you know, too blended, too neat. It's just about having a little bit of uh, a texture in there. So, okay. Oh, it's like the gang's all back together again. Hello, welcome. Oh, do you know, it's lovely just to sort of chill out a little bit and relax with friends, isn't it? And what better way to do it? So, okay, what do I have then as well? I've got my regular pen. I've got an 01 Micron. It doesn't matter if you've got the regular ones and a number two. That's the one I would usually use. But as you can see, I've got my, my black one. I've got a gold jelly roll, just for extra detail, maybe. And I've got my Santangle little tortillon, my pencil. And I've got a white chalky pastel pencil as well, just in case. So putting all those to one side, I'm, uh, I do apologise about the little bit of shadow above here. I can't actually do anything about it. It's sort of this area. Uh, I have actually moved desks since we last did anything in here. So I hope I did hope it was gone, but not to worry. It's not it's not affecting the uh, the tiles. Oh, thank you ever so much for watching earlier. I do appreciate it. It's a little bit surreal going in there, you know. The only time we don't wear a mask is when we're on TV. So doing a live, so you know, wearing a mask all day is, is quite traumatic, it really is. So I, I don't know, you know, how uh, our key workers and things, you know, have to wear one every day, all the day, all day. It's, whew, quite some doing. Okay then, deep breath. Here we go. Just gonna add in my four little dots. They're quite close to the edge because I want a nice little narrow border there. And again, if you want to, you can come on in and you can use a straight edge. I'm just going to go on in and uh, sketch it out. There we go. My my fancy you know, drawn-on ruler is uh, still in my box downstairs. I didn't want to go back down and, you know, disrupt the uh, my little buddies down there. So here we go. All right. And yeah, I'm not. You know, I don't mind being bit. I like being busy. And I'm just really glad that everybody liked our party. It's not Easter yet. I have brought John an Easter egg and it's sort of in his hands, but he's not opened it yet. He's, I'm quite a thing. I like to sort of keep Easter for Easter, Christmas for Christmas. But yeah, thank you for watching everybody today. I, I really do appreciate it. As I say, it uh, can be a little bit tricky. But, you know, we're getting there, aren't we? We're getting through it. Okay. I'm just going to come on in, like I'm going to add another little sort of border in here. So I'm creating a bit of a frame, maybe. There we go. So I'm you know, just using those dots as a little bit of a guide. I know, Viv, yeah, I do seriously appreciate everything they do and the fact that they're all wearing these masks all day. It's crazy, but hopefully, you know, we're getting there. All right. Deep breath. Oh, nurse my vid Oh, the flowers are divine. But never mind. Don't, don't worry about it. Not to worry. Okay. So I've got an outside border and I've got just sort of a little squarish shape there. So I'm going to leave it at that for now. And I'm going to come on in with my pen. Or do I want to? No, I'm going to, I'm going to do that a little bit. I'm going to come in straight in with my pen. Okay, I'm just going to go a little bit larger. There we go. Because what I'm going to do, I'm going to start from one of the corners. You can start from any corner you like. It doesn't matter. So if it feels more comfortable for this side, then that's absolutely fine, this side. But if not, this side's even, even better. It doesn't really matter. So whatever, whatever suits. All right, are we ready for this? 
Okay, deep breath. All right. So I'm going to just add in, let's have a look, a bit of a curved line. And I'm going to join it with another. There we go. All right. So now you sort of see where I'm, I'm, I am there. Hi, Deb, from New York. Oh, never mind, Bev. Do you know, I am back in there next week. So we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Don't, don't you worry. You know, as we know, we make things ourselves, majority of them anyway. So we'll, we'll, we'll sort it out. All right. Bit of a wider curve there today. Okay. And then I'm going to just bring it back around. So I've got this sort of curve shape going on there. And then I'm just going to add in a little line there. You see, that's a little bit narrower than this side. Okay, so just going to fill in that space. And again, if you've got a, a thicker pen, by all means, just bring that in. If you want to do it in a different colour, that's even, even fine. That's okay. There we go. All right. So then I'm just going to extend this line just a little bit. See? Uh, oh, Sue, so I'm back on the 5th of April. So um, I'll be taking back the concept stencils and these flowers that we've had today as well. It just gives me a chance, or oh, gives me and Leslie a chance to make a few. Okay, so we've got this sort of little odd boat shape. Yeah? Okay. So let's just come in a little bit and I'm just going to pull another one out. See? And another one. Okay. And then I'm just going to join them again with a little bit of a curve. There we go. Yes, Muffy, we'll, we'll get there. We just need to make them. But, uh, yeah. Okay. Of course, we've got, you know, I think about next month and what's going to be there for that. So lots of things going on. There we go. Hey, Mum. All right. So I'm just going to bring another one. Now, it doesn't matter if you curve it the same way or a different way. It's just coming out of the same sort of direction kind of thing. And then let's create that little curve shape again. Oh, Janet, we need to check on that, don't we? Because they definitely left. So, um, we need to uh, just uh, give CNC a bit of a, a buzz and ask about that because they, uh, they definitely left. I remember packing them. Because, you know, Leslie and I pack everything, so we, we, we tend to sort of say, oh, look. Look at such a body. Oh, look, such a body's ordered. It's lovely, you know, so we know. Okay. Same again. Here we go. And then, of course, I'm going to do a third one. Now, if you wanted to, you could do lots of these and you could get thinner and thinner and thinner. Uh, oh, Bridget, they're not yet. It's, it's just that we haven't had time to get them on there. But I will as soon as I can, I promise. Okay. So... I'm going to do another one. Okay, it's sort of working its way around. It's almost going diagonally, isn't it? It's, uh, don't get uh, don't get too cocky with it just yet. Hang on a second. Here we go. All right. So again, let's add that little line in. I'm just going to fill that in there. There we go. And then just as before. Let's extend a little and over we go and then in again okay and the third one all right so let's just have a quick look at this oh did he Chelsea I'll have a word with him he was quite shocked <laughs> when I said we need some of your rulers John he's like oh oh <laughs> Okay. Uh, Catherine, yes, I do. I think there are still some on. It's just down as a uh, cartridge journal in the uh, in the shop. All right. You see, I'm coming at this one now. I've not followed it through. 
it's uh, it's coming out this way and i must say obviously i i was stayed over last night and i've come in um tonight to to see quite a lot of tile swaps on the double mat well actually john picked them up for me but uh, yeah it's uh, it's really promising that it, there's a lot come in now so if you've not got yours in you know please do so you've still got a little bit of a chance as long as I've got them by, is it the 5th of April? You've got time. There we go. So, okay. So I'm adding one there. So you see it's come out now by the same sort of area. So I'm taking more than one from one area. There we go. And again, adding that curve in. Now you see there, that's a little bit awkward creating a curve that way. So just by turning the tile can get another one in it feels a bit better doing it that way okay so let's have a look where we're going with this i'm going to bring another one in down this way from that same sort of space there they're growing out of one aren't they there you are okay oh lorraine i know those bubbles amazing on margarita's picture if you've not seen it uh i did i photograph that one Maybe not because it was being put in a frame, but oh, it's fantastic. They all are. All the samples that the girls do for me are, are just beautiful. Okay. So here we go. Put it over there. Now, same as before. Creating that lovely little shape. And just extending it. There we go. And again. All right, <laughs> it's turning into a little bit of, I don't know, a bit of something crazy here. Okay, let's do another. I'm going to come out of this one this time. Let's, uh, let's take it sort of straight again, just up across here. There we go. And then a little bit of a curve, just as before. And then let's bring it back in. Add that little line. There we go. And then just fill it in. And the same here. There you go. Okay. So I'm just going to extend that out a bit either side. It's really cute this. I like this one. So you can do it really small or you can do quite a large version like this. And of course you can, uh, you can make these curved if you want to and have a bit of a bubble. <laughs> if you like uh, you can make more than three so you almost do them like sort of I don't know zigzaggy zingers yeah okay let's have a look I'm going to take another let's go oh decisions to make I'm going to go up bank you can come this way if you like but I'm not going to do one on each I'm just going to add one in here I think there we go or I might do, I don't know. See how I feel when I've done this one. Okay. Along we go. And again, in with those little curves. And. Oh, Bridget. I know, I understand. Yeah. I still think about my little Leah. You know, I miss her terribly still. And uh, I know. You know, we, we had a we had another and we'd still got Seth and we had another but you never you never forget. You just you just think of the good times and the good memories. And it gets you through. Lots of crying, I know that. Okay. Yeah, come on girl, we've got you. Okay, let's have a think. I am gonna do another one, but I'm gonna sort of do it sort of up here. There we go. You don't have to, it's entirely up to you, but I quite like the idea. The idea of doing another one, it feels right. There you are. Any messes. And there we go. So just started from those little curves. And then again, extend a little bit. And then along we go. And then curves. Around here, and then the sides, and then another. OK, 
Okay, let's have a look at that. Oh, look at that. <laughs> All right. So we just want to sort of finish these ends off if we can. They're sort of ready to move on, aren't they? And nowhere to go. So let's go in a little bit. Okay. So I'm just going to gonna add in a little sort of line there. So I was going to do another one. But, oh, that's good, Bridget. Yeah. Seth did with me. He was... Uh, you know, but he, he was suffering, he needed somebody, so that's where Benji came along. Actually, it's quite a funny story because we weren't going to have another. John was like, no, not having another. And uh, we actually won some money on the lottery. We won eight, £850 on the lottery. And uh, I obviously put the feelers out that we wanted another dog. But uh, we had a, a notification to say that there was a... Not just one litter of shelties, but two litters there. So um, yeah, we went. <laughs> we went to uh, we went to have a look, and there he was. He picked us. Okay, see, I've got this sort of thing. I can add a few more in. You know, however many you want to sort of go with. That's just. Uh... See, I could leave it at that, and that would really, really screw with my head. I'm gonna put another one in in there. It's going over that border, but that's fine. There you go. Shall we have a look at that? Here we go. Okay. Yeah, here we go. Oh, look at that. <laughs> All right. So we've got a bit of a dilemma here, haven't we? If we're going to sort of finish it off, because obviously we're going to we're going to go off the page. So this depends on how you want to do it. I'm going to go off, but you might decide that you want to, you know, do it and, and add it to a page in your journal or sketch pad, or you might want to do narrower or thinner sort of uh, shape so you might just want to finish it off with a wire but there we go so that one definitely looks like uh, there we go it's continuing on all right there we go so here we go let's do this one and in we go another little line you see that the fact that the background has been inked and it's not a perfect blend all over the place which I don't mind think actually just adds to it doesn't it because we're drawing over the top <laughs> I <know>. <laughs> honestly yeah I do I, I have a plan of where I'm I'm going so I have obviously I've done a sketch of this but you know it's only when you actually do it live and you see it come to light you just think oh yeah I love that look at that they're like sort of I don't know it's like a little Indian headdress maybe or something I don't know I'm going to have one coming out here. It's just quite playful, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So, a couple more to do here. All right. So, I'm going to go quite long with this one. There you are. Adding that little curve on the top there. All right. Moving along up to this section and into there. And another. There we go. Now, of course, if you wanted to, you could change the shape on the top. You could add a bubble. But I, I reckon that we've got this lovely shape here. We're just going to continue it and uh, work it along. So uh, I think it works good that way. But as I say, if you wanted to do something a bit different, that's fine. All right. And this one. So again, don't try and make them all the same. Just very gradually, just work them through and you'll notice that it sort of grows on its own. There we go. Oh, I do think I'm going to put another one here. It's just going to go underneath that one. There we go. All right. <laughs> okay. Like it. So... Where are we going to go from here then? And um, Okay, what I think I'm going to do now is I'm just going to draw in those original borders whilst uh, I've got the pen in hand. And sometimes, you know, if you think I'm doing a tile and you're not quite sure where it's leading or what you're going to do, actually going in and uh, <laughs> putting the border in really just helps you think about it a bit. Although I, I do know what's coming next, which is <laughs> why I thought we'd do it. 
And thank you, Garth. Yeah, I had good fun. I, I enjoyed drawing on my trainers. I know it's a little bit of a risk at times, but uh, if you're up for it, if you've got some canvas trainers and you think, oh, do you know what? Needs a new lease of life. Why not tangle on them? So, uh, okay. I think the great thing about it is I didn't try and mirror image and do exactly the same. So there was no tracing involved. I, I've used the same tangle in certain areas, but... Uh, <laughs> But yeah, I just uh, I just went with the flow. Yeah, it's nice to have nice shoes, isn't it? And you know, yeah, I suppose you don't have to spend a lot on a pair of canvas shoes, do you? Just plain ones and just have a bit. Oh, Chelsea, see you rebel, drawing all over your clothes. <laughs> there we go. I'm back in. All right. Hmm. Okay, so I've got my two borders drawn in. See, it doesn't really matter which way this goes, does it? It's, uh, it's crazy. Okay, so I'm going to come and work just in the centerpiece here for now. So I can come in a little bit more. And this is for you, uh, you grid people out there. Now, just because it is a grid, I'm going to come on in with another tile and use it just as a straight edge. So I'm going to sort of go diagonally across the page, see? There we are. I'm just going to put that line in. There we are. Okay, so I've split it off there nicely. And then I'm going to come in. Now, of course, we don't want to go really close, but we don't want to go too wide. Else you're not going to get those many in. So let's have a look. It's sort of about... So look. About as wide as my pencil, but of course you can do it as wide or as narrow or whatever you want to do. But that's just giving you a bit of an idea as to how it is. Okay, there we go. So I'm working my way out from the centre ish along. Okay, then I'm just going to turn it round. I'm going to do the same this side. So again, just keeping. That same sort of angle where I can. And then just coming on in and drawing that in. Now, of course, again, you, you could do this in a different colour. It would be nice with a grey pen. Just so it sits in the background a little bit. But I'm going to go whole hog and, uh, yeah, use a black pen throughout. Okay, so there's my first section. And I'm going to then turn it round again. Now, I can't quite... I can see the pencil line there, so I've got something to work to. There we go. I'm just going to add that in there. Ooh. If I can hold it straight. Trust me, I've not had any alcohol. <laughs> I had a really nice cup of tea that John made me when I got in, I must admit. It's always nice when somebody else makes it. There we go. So here we go, putting the uh, grid in this way. Oh, hey, Joe. Oh, it's okay. You can always watch it back tomorrow when you get up, you know. Have a bit of a lie-in and then, you know. Saturday afternoon. But you know what? I think it's really important that I know sometimes the times have to change because, you know, work gets in the way. But I think it's really important to keep the consistency because I know some of you, you know, you're not necessarily still getting out and about of things. And, uh, you know, you want to speak to your friends, don't you? And you want to, you look forward to doing it. So I, I do my utmost to make sure we, we maintain consistency wherever possible. Okay, so a bit of a grid going on there. I'm just going to come in a little bit more, just so you can see what I'm doing. I'll pull it out in a minute. So, okay. So first thing I'm going to do, now usually with the grid, or one of the, the tangles we we do like to use, is to put a little square in where the lines meet. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to put a little dot in there. Okay. And I'm going to go onto every one of those and add in that little dot. Oh, the rain is it? It's not just yet. I'll, I'll have some in a little bit. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Benji's a little bit of a wine drinker. He quite likes uh, 
likes he quite likes a bit of gin as well although if i uh i offer seth any gin pff, forget it he's like no red wine bit of prosecco mum but no he's not a gin not a gin dog <laughs> but, mm -hmm. oh, speaking of dogs somebody's come up to check where i am hello bench he says hello but he's been quiet tonight he does talk to me <laughs> all right do i have all the dots maybe there's a little bit of one in there okay you can see i've got those little dots all all over where they meet okay <laughs> oh hello bench he's come up for a quick fuss mommy's working sweetheart mommy will be down in a minute you can, no, you can't join in. My pen. Okay, are we ready then? So, where we've got these little dots. I'm going to do it. I'll show you on this one so you can see I'm going to add a little loop. Not quite halfway there. Okay. And then I'm going to add a little loop that way too. Okay. So I'm just going to repeat that going this way. There we go, just sort of working my way up. Oh, yeah, I see, I see a little bit of a loop there. A bit there. Okay. I'm coming back down. There we go. So let's just have a quick look at that. I'm moving it out a little bit. There we go. So I'm going to do the same on the next row. Just sort of adding that little loop in. See, I'm not going right into the centre. I'm just keeping them, following that same sort of line. There we go, from one to the next, little loops. Okay, no rush with these. All right. Let's go on to the next one. And then, wherever I can, just sort of, Get a little bit of one there, so it's continuing down and through the tile. So, oh, I see a little bit of a dot there. And then along into the next. There we go. A little bit there. So it's giving this illusion that this is not just working on this individual sort of little bit. It, Gives the sense that it's actually continuing somewhere. Maybe that's on your your little page, your journal page, or maybe it's on the you know the outer edge of a card, or maybe it's just sort of imaginary. It's uh, it's there somewhere. All right, and into this row. So I'm going to get a little bit there, not much. Okay. A little bit in there, maybe. Oh, let's get a dot in. Okay. So let's turn it round. And I'm just going to repeat the process. So I'm just going to, as before, create those little loops either side of the dot. Just working it, if I can, into those little gaps there. And then, of course, let's, let's add a couple in there. There we go. See, so sometimes you just have to imagine a little bit that it's going to be there. See here, I'm not I'm going to maybe see a little bit, but I've got this sort of shape in the way. So we're just going to envision it slightly. There we are. So working my way around. A lovely little grid tangle this, isn't it? And of course, you could change the shapes. You don't have to do a little loop you could create all sorts of little flower shapes couldn't you really so like what i did this afternoon a loop and a little wobble at the top maybe yeah, whatever works for you and of course if your space in the middle is a little bit bigger than the one i did maybe your grid's a little bit bigger so you can get more detail in maybe a little line and a bobble in the middle or all sorts of things I'm going to put that one in there. You'll see a little bit of that. All right. And the next bits. Oh, missed one. So 
Look, I can, look I'm, oh, I'm being a rebel now. I'm doing two rows at a time. This is sort of an accident waiting to happen, isn't it? <laughs> no, I think I've got them. I think I'm good. I'm not going to do over too, too much there. Okay, is there a... Oh, yeah, look, I've missed one. Missed a row. That's okay, though. I can go back and do it. All right, probably missed another one somewhere. I bet you've all spotted it, but it looks good. It looks like I've done it. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, Maureen. Yeah, I suppose so, but especially that it's on um, a lemony kind of tile. Yeah. Okay. So, speaking, not that we have, <laughs> bubbles. I'm just going to create a row of bubbles around this little shape that we've done here. Now, they don't have to be a certain size the sort of only precedent really is that they touch each other wherever possible so no socially distanced bubbles um here it's just all about just touching each other like like so and working my way around of course stopping and going underneath if you need to oh do you think so richard it must be the it must be the mood i'm in I do think it changes and it, you know it depends on the and then you get sort of fixated on a specific pattern and you have to then resort to your dice so you try something new so. oh and it was well, okay it could look it could look really good on a journal page this background particularly looks nice doesn't it and of course we've got a gold gel pen so I wonder what's coming there we go. All right, so that's our sort of little bubbles around. Is that what it is, Pat? Does it feel spring? Oh, is it because maybe you know my new stencil was flowers, so that was in my that was in my head, maybe. Okay, bit of a wobbly line now. I'm just gonna work a bit of a wobble work down that side of the bubbles. <laughs> All right, you know. No. Honestly, whatever size they come out at, they've all got their own little quirks, haven't they? There we go. So, I don't know, maybe, maybe because I do do it a lot, I sort of, uh, I've got a bit of consistency going now, but um, it's not a problem, not to worry. Okay. Just working my way around. There we go. Just underneath. Got that kind of a row of that little wavy line. Okay. Oh, thank you, Mum. All right, so here we go. I'm going to just now come into the, the sort of edges. So I've got a space between this lovely sort of decorative space now and then this, this space here at the end of the border. So I'm going to bring in, and it's not what you think, so hang fire a little bit i'm just gonna add a little dot on the end are right, you thinking zingers no calm down calm down you ready now come on in and i'm gonna add a little curl you see and i'm gonna come back and add a little curl okay same on this side and a little curl and on the top here, I'm just going to give it a little bit of a fluffy head. <laughs> there we go. All right. So, let's do another. Oh, we've got a thing about sheep. I did say I would do a sheep tangle. I will, but I'm not going to tell you when. I'm going to make you wait. <laughs> All right. Oh, missed my dot, sorry. There you go. Little curls. And let's just give it a little bit of a fluffy head all right let's have a look at this then see where it's sort of coming in all right see so let's do another here a little bit of a dot there look add that curl add that curl so this time it's going to go underneath that one there we go and fluffy head okay so it's a case of how many or how many or how few do you want to put these in. And of course we could always come in from this side too. So it's uh, it's just giving it that little bit of a border in there. There we go. 
pair of a fluffy head. There we go. Okay. Um, so I'm going to put another one in here. So now it's a case I'm, I'm going to start to look for gaps and spaces where I could add these little shapes in. I'm not too worried about overlapping things. It's just uh, be nice to give it a little bit of space that it deserves. So here we go. Let's, let's put one in here. So there's no set amount. There's no, you've got to do twos or threes or a single one. It's just about wherever you think they should go. All right. <laughs> so let's have a look. Let's put one. I'm going to put one here so it's, it looks like it's quite small. Maybe it's working its way into the picture. There we go. Okay. <laughs> it's amazing how, you know, how different it looks when you've got a little bit of ink on it. And uh, you start to put this black on. Just a few, a few lines, a few curves. And suddenly it's created something quite different. Alright, let's put one in here. It's got to have one there, hasn't it? So I'm not counting how many I've got on each side. I'm just working my way round and adding in a little bit as I go. There we go. Just a little bit of a fluffy head there. <laughs> okay, let's, um, let's put one in here. There we are. So I know that um, we did a, an extra tile, didn't we, on, was it Tuesday? My goodness me, I can't remember what day it is. On the Crafting Together With All Brands page. And we are looking at another date, so we could do another one. So thank you if you watch that. If not, it's still on there. We did a little card. And, um, yeah, I thought it went really well. <laughs> okay, let's... Uh, Add one here, a little dot, and coming on in, a little curves. There we go. You see, they're all slightly different size, and of course, you could add two or three curls if you wanted. You don't have to do. And there you go. And another one here. Let's do this one. There we are. And round here. And of course, there's that fluffy little head. All right, it's looking all right. <laughs> okay, so let's just uh, add some space here. So I know that's not quite showing up on the camera, but um, hang on a second. You see there, look, it's got, it goes from the orange into that yellow. And it just looks very sunset-like. It's a lovely colour change. I do like that uh, Morocco kind of colour. It's very warm. Wish it was warm outside. <laughs> it's supposed to be British summertime soon. Is it this weekend? Is it this Sunday? Is it? Yeah. I hope it's. Uh, I hope it's going to be a good summer. You know, we could do with a bit of warmth, couldn't we? Okay, let's have a look then. And um, all right, I'm not going to worry too much about, as I say, if I've got a few gaps, but I think I'm going to add one in here. Of course, you could come back and add more if you wanted to. I think it just, let's just have one in there. And it may be just a one that looks like it's just poking through, just coming in. There we go. Ah, oh, that's what it is, Lily. Clocks forward. Okay, so I'm going to just put my pen to one side and I'm going to come on in now with my pencil. And let's have a look. I'm going to start in. So we're in the middle where we where we began really with these lovely little shapes. So I'm just going to add, add some pencil to almost what well, let's call it a stem to the stem. <laughs> Which day? <laughs> and then a little bit of pencil either side as such. And of course, if you've not done this before, you're not quite sure what's going on. Please don't think you've got to colour it in. It's just about adding some pencil either side. 
or a video yeah rulers yeah i'll ask john to do some more he's uh he's going in this weekend to machine a few more flowers so i'm sure he'll uh, he'll change the bed over and uh, and do a few there we go all right so i'm just working a little bit of pencil either side of course on the stem section there and just a little bit either side there now i could actually come in and just use the the pencil and the tortillon and do one at a time but i quite like the idea of doing that instant reveal so we're just doing a little bit of work here to get the uh, get the shapes in and then uh, and then we'll do them okay so again look on the stem either side see and then a little bit either side if you don't want to go all the way in i mean if you wanted to you could do this in color of course if you're using colored pencils you'd uh, you'd have to blend it yourself we're going to use our tortillon and that works great for pastels which i actually have put on order so uh, if you were waiting for the pastel pencils they'll, they'll be within the next 10 days i would say so uh, they'll be in soon all right okay just ever so gently either side see this is the good bit and as much as you want to see the sort of end result you want to just take your time over this and just enjoy and enjoy <laughs> just enjoy the process yeah oh hey chris oh yeah zoom it's uh yeah we have we all have to do it but thanks for dropping in Chris has been very helpful helping to get the uh, the group page sorted. So I know it was a bit tricky just having it as a regular page. You couldn't see all the posts. So hopefully changing it to a group page has helped a bit. But uh, still work in progress. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. So I think at the same time here, I'm just going to sort of uh, just add a little bit of pencil, you know, just to the bottom there of of those little sort of pointy leafy type shape maybe just being that we're doing the same sort of thing with the now, of course if you've got your little stems here and they're a little bit wide then again you can come on in and just add a touch of pencil to the tops there okay so maybe i'll add a bit there look see just a little bit at the bottom there we go just a little bit Remember, you could always add to it if you need to. You don't really want to be adding lots and lots if you don't need it. There we go. And just a little bit touching in places, that's all. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Sally, our sand tangle page. You know, as we we were using that so, so you could post your... Uh, your pictures on there but you had to sort of go on to the community button to see them so i've actually changed it to i think changed it to a group page or if not go have a look for santangle group page and you'll know the difference because i did sort of put in just a couple of little questions there just so we could uh, define one from the other so that's where we, we're going to be posting pictures and things. I just thought it was a nice page for you to interact rather than uh, have to faff about trying to find the post in the first place. Okay, so here we go. So I'm just ever so gently softening the edge of that pencil. I'm not taking it all the way to the middle if I can help it. Just a little bit of the way, you see? So just nice and gentle gradually work it as such you see i've left it in the middle with no graphite so let's do the same here there we go all right and a little bit down there see just working my way around okay so see that's i'm just gonna lighten up a little bit go into swirls there you go just to sort of ease that off a touch so I'll do this one and then we'll pull it out and have a look at it. There we go. 
So you're just gently working it round. There we go. Okay, let's have a little look at that then. All right, you see we're starting to get a little bit of dimension in there, but we've still got a little bit to go yet. So hang on in there. There we go. And a little bit there. And just working my way up one side and down the next. And you'll notice that where I'd got that original pencil mark, you know, for the, the grid lines and the, well, the guides, the borders that can't see it anymore, it's vanished. So we don't worry about rubbing things out. This is why I suggest, you know, if you draw it a little bit lighter than I do, just so you can see it, and then you don't need to rub it out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, the questions aren't hard. It's just what do you want to learn, basically. It just helps that if I can sort of get a, a consistency. If somebody says they want to learn something in particular, and I think, oh, I could do that, and it just guides my thinking a little bit. Because at the minute, I I just create what I like. <laughs> I do try and mix it up, and I do do grids and the the organics as well. But it's nice. All right, we're going to come back to that. Okay, I'm going to come back in with pencil, however, now. And I'm not going to try and sort of shade every single one of these. I think because it's quite small, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come on in and I'm just going to add some pencil around the in just the inside of those bubbles. You see, I'm pressing on a little bit there. All right, so the same there, look. All right, same with that. Okay, and whilst I'm sort of on that, I'm gonna do the same on here. There we go, turning it round. And I'm just gonna go straight over those lovely little shapes that we did earlier, I'm not gonna worry about that, straight over the top. Uh, Yvonne, this is 124. My goodness me. Tile number 124. We've come away, haven't we? We certainly have. There we go. Okay, so again, while I'm at it, I'm going to do just on the inside there too. You see, I'm going to straight across. And same again straight across see but when I come to those I'm just going to go underneath there we are and again I know Catherine can you remember when I well I think that's going to be a, a statement that stays with me forever isn't it I was only going to do 12 maybe 12 books maybe that's what it was <laughs> my goodness me yeah, I've got a few more to do yet. Okay, so next one then. I'm going to come in with my tortillon and this time I'm just going to work that pencil just with sort of small swirl, small, small <laughs> swirl shapes just to sort of ease the, the, you know, the, the softness around the edge. And uh, just adding a little touch of pressure there because obviously I've got got a really nice super smooth tile here and uh, I just want to sort of give it a little bit of movement but I don't want to fill the whole shape I want to leave some of that lovely lemon colour in the, in the centre there all right there we go all right and then of course the same <laughs> no, I could do it I could print a t-shirt yeah it's a uh, it's funny, isn't it? Okay. Here we go then. So just working my way around. There we go. Okay, a little bit there and there. Okay. Into this one. So you can see here it's just sort of travelling out a little bit, isn't it? And I'm just sort of softening it out. And just letting it fade into the background there. Just nice and gentle, working it round. Okay. 
turn it round like that. Just nice and gentle. There we go. A little bit round there. And then of course the same on the, the outer edge. I'm just gonna make sure that I've got a line, you know, on that outer edge there. Oh, I say we're in a rebel now. I'm going anti-clockwise with my swirls. It's quite fun to change it a little bit. <laughs> okay. Right, into this one. All right. There we go. You see, it's just sort of... The fact that you've got a couple of colours in the background, you know, because we inked, it's, uh, it's still adding that warmth. The, the pencil's not taking away that colour at all. <laughs> Mickey, yes. <laughs> I do like my Disney. I do. As you can tell, look, I do have two Disney things. <laughs> yeah. Of course, you 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 must have seen my one of my Disney shirts. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I do. I actually ran trips to uh, to. Disney in Paris when I was a teacher. I used to do those with all the kids. That was interesting. <laughs> good times. Good times. Okay. All right. Let's have a look at where we're at. A couple more bits to do. What we're not far off now. We're almost. Okay. There we are. So here we go. Um, before I come in with my white and my gold, I'm just going to come back in with my black pen. And I'm just going to make it a little bit larger <laughs> okay so let's just add in yeah oh yeah I, I have two disney cardigans i've got a mickey mouse one and i've got a jack one nightmare before christmas yeah that's quite cool I do like that one okay so what i'm doing now i'm just sort of doing the outline really um but I'm only going to do one side, so pick your side and stick to it. So here we go, and I'm not drawing around the whole thing, I'm just doing the outline, you see? Straight over that one, straight up into there. And then just around the edges, I'm just going to stop there, can you see? So one's a little bit darker than the others. So I'm going to now do the same here, I'm going to bring this down here. And just draw in that outline there. Same on this one. Yeah, here we go. Just following that through and adding in those little lines. You see? Okay. And into this side. So I said, just pick your side, just do one. There we are. Same here. I'm just going to go into that one a little bit. There we go. Okay. All right. So, there we are. So you've got a little bit more depth coming on there. I think I'm just going to do the same. I'm just going to pick one side and just add on a little bit more weight. Just, you see, I've swapped sides on that one, but that's okay because. As long as I'm only doing one side of each, I'm just sort of doing the underside really. There we go. See, I'm just swapping as it goes around the centre there. So here we go. Same again, look. Just one side. No, no rush for this. Just take your time with it. You just want that extra little bit of depth. And this is what makes the difference, as we've always said. I'm just copying something out of the, you know, off of Pinterest maybe, and just try, you know, trying to step out to actually following along and taking it, you know, to its completion. Really, just want that extra little bit of something, don't we? Okay, so I'm still gonna, I'm gonna come back in now and just add in that line. You know, the, the very first border we put in, just. Giving it a little bit more weight. Just going back and forth with my pen. 
yeah oh it's, it's just this one's it's a pretty good one to do and you can change it about a lot or you can just keep it really simple so it works really well okay so okay Next bit there, just going to come on in, I've got um, a white chalky pencil or a pastel here and again I'm just going to make it a bit larger just so you can see what's going on there. Oh, without trying to knock my camera. Alright, so also I'm going to see where I've got this bit of a light here and I would suggest even if you've got a white tile, come on in if you can with a bit of a highlight there. You see it's not a huge amount and I'm just going in and adding bit of white where that highlight is and so I'm not going to try and blend it or anything I'm just going to come on in and add that touch you see so it's not not even going to try and you know, be extremely neat with it it's just about filling that space in a little okay same on this I'm going to obviously do the same on all of those. And I say, even if you've got a cream or a white tile, you know, just coming in and doing this, you, you don't see it on screen or on the camera, but it, it'll definitely, you'll notice a difference from where you're sat just to do this. Okay. So, let's just have a little look at that. Now you see the difference. It's just got that little bit of a highlight because we've done some of the darks and then we've done the highlights in there. So last thing to do, and again, this is purely optional. If you want to do it, fine. If you don't, you don't have to. You could do a different colour, but I've got a gold gel pen. Okay, and I'm just going to come on in and just in places, I want to add a little bit of gold. So it might, I might come on in and just add a little bit to the you know the base let's go a bit larger so you can see it just to the base of those little shapes there we go oh hang on so there you go you couldn't see that look there we go so just added a little bit of gold there just some little dots really i think you just sort of we just want to lift it that little bit there we go but if you want to add some bubbles around or if you want to put these little dots uh, in the center you know on the little dots we've done there i might do that too actually let's have a look just gonna do all these little lines here first so there you go little little dots so you, you don't have to it's, i think sometimes i just want a bit of glamour i think it's friday night <laughs> okay so let's just come on in and just add you see just a dot each and because it's the gold on the yellow it's it's going to be there but it's not going to sort of take away from the design it's just gonna add that little bit of glamour of course you know you could come in with the, a, a glue and, and add some glitter if you want depends how far you want to go but tiles up to you i did say actually when I, we were looking at the tiles the other day there's a little bit of uh, glitz and glamour going on with the tile swaps so uh, maybe you want to you know do something a little bit different to them okay so here we go here's our tile for friday night for the weekend i'm not quite sure which way i'm gonna hide i'm gonna go with the sort of the way i started i think and stick it that way and i'm just gonna add my initials here we go put it in here there we go yeah. all right so that's all we've got to do Oh, oh, Jackie, yeah, you'd be great at it. I mean, if not, give us a shout and we'll put you right in some, you know, in the right equipment or whatever you need. It'd be fine. Just give it a go and see how you uh, how you get on with it. So, okay. Um, yeah, I'm loving that. I'm really pleased with it. Um, love what we've, we've done. Like the colour. And, uh, yeah, that little bit of a white highlight's made a difference, hasn't it? So, okay, look forward to seeing what, uh, what you're going to be doing with it this weekend. Try it with some different colours, maybe, I don't know, maybe add more than, you know, we started with three rings, maybe you want to add four or five, see how it goes. But uh, whatever you do, just have fun with it. Don't try and make it exactly the same as mine. Just enjoy it and uh, you know, just see it for what it is and it's just a little bit of a break, a little bit of time out. 
for you to enjoy and just forget what's going on around you and just settle and breathe. All right. So everybody have a lovely weekend. Uh, keep sending your tile swaps in. If you, ha you think, don't know what she's talking about, have a look at the video that we did. I uh, can't remember. It's always the third Monday in the month. Have a look at the video, I'll give you some instructions and show you what to do and, uh, and get one in the post. So, all right, have a lovely one, everybody, and I'll speak to you again next week. All right, you take care and see you soon. Okay, bye.